In the last episode, we got the blue coins in Noki Bay and Bianca Village. And in this episode, the time has finally come. We are, we have we have 95 shine sprites. Uh, we got 230 blue coins. There are only 10 blue coins left to collect, and and it, and it all comes down to this. Let's enter Corona Mountain. So yeah, here we go, Corona Mountain, the final challenge to um to save Princess, Princess Peach from Bowser Jr. And I gotta say, this place is really gnarly. Um, so you have these uh you you have this lava, so you have this lava, so if you fall into this lava, it's a it's, it's an instant death. And you got these um flaming cheap cheeps too, for, um jump um jump throughout the uh or flaming fish, I guess. Um, that's jumping throughout the um, lava, and so and it's like you don't want to get hit by these guys as you as you're jumping across. Because if you get hit, uh, you do they do knock you into the lava. So yeah, watch out! So watch out for these guys. All right, we got our first blue coin. Um, the spikes. Watch out for the spikes because um. The spikes do three points of damage to Mario. In fact, in fact, they do a lot. In fact, it's pretty much an instant kill because because they do, because they do so much damage to Mario, and um, they and, they, and they and they do so much damage to Mario, and, and, and it happens and it happens so fast too. So it's so you can almost consider the spikes a, an, an instant death. So 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 be sure the time so be sure the the time you jump so so not to get caught by those spikes. All right, now the worst part of it all, the boat. Yeah, I've seen a lot. Yeah, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of less players have trouble with, with the boat thing. I don't know. It's like for some reason, it's like the boat. It's almost like, like it's almost like the boat is programmed to run into the wall or something. You can see, can see how I'm, can see how I'm like. Can you kind of see how I'm like pushing the boat carefully to the side, but the boat keeps turning. In a way that is heading towards one of the pillars. See that? See that? It's almost like it's almost like the boat is purposely trying to run into a wall or something. And it, and that's something. That's a, and that's the last thing you want happening too. That's the last thing you want to happen too is having the boat um, run into a wall. That's all it takes is one bump, one bump into the wall, and that's it. I'm gonna do this. Okay. Okay, light squirts. Light squirts, like not, like not too, like not too long of a squirt or anything. Just very light squirts. Like just take your time. Don't, like, don't rush. You. Take your time. Slowly. 
Sorry, I'm not sorry. I'm not talking much. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to focus very carefully here. I don't want to make. I don't want to make any, any mistakes. This is something that you have to be very careful about. We're doing it, we're doing it. Sorry I'm so quiet guys. I'm I'm very I'm like very focused on this. This is something that you gotta be very careful about. Anything goes wrong, I can always, I can always bail out and go for the blue coin and just die for the blue and just die for the blue coin. But I'm too good for that, though. Okay, and with that, guys, we have we have gotten all two, two, 240 blue coins. So now <laughs> I'm gonna leave the area for the second time, and you guys know, and you guys know what to do. You, you guys know what time it is. We're gonna head straight to the. Uh, Boathouse. And we're going to talk to the uh, raccoon, raccoon guy. Okay, dude. Welcome, welcome. I suppose you're here for that, hmm? Yes, very good. That means I will requi require 10 blue coins from you. I can exchange these for science sprites. I'll give you 24. Yes. Will you like? Will you like to? Yes. Really? You truly mean it? Yes. No refunds? Yes. Give them all. Give them all to me. And there we go, guys. We got. We got. We got. We got. We got 119 science sprites. There's only. There's only one more science sprite to collect. And it's on Corona Mountain. But yeah, that's something that I find really. Oh, 
that's something that I find really uh, silly about about Mario Sunshine is the fact that most of the science sprites are pretty much being held by the are pretty much being held by the characters themselves. If you think about it, it's like they say that the that the science sprites is the source is the uh, source of their um island's um sunlight, and yet. Most of the characters, characters throughout the Defeat, um, Defeat of Plaza, has the um, science sprites, and they're just like, yeah, I will give you a science sprite if you do something for me. And that's something that really, that's something that really bugs me about Shine, about Super Mario Sunshine is the fact that um, I'm pretty sure I said this before in one of the episodes where I said. Uh, Mario needs those science sprites to, in order to restore the world, in, in order to restore the field plaza of his sun, of his sunlight. And yet, you guys refuse to give Mario the sunshine, mm, the science sprites, because you are too selfish to just give them up, and you're only willing to give them away to Mario if Mario does something for you first. And it's like, come on, guys! It's like, come on now! It's like. What, it's like what is like what's up with that? It's it's like it's just kind of funny you know, how the citizens of the Phoenix Plaza are, are not only stupid, but they're also very selfish if you think about it. And the reason why I say they're stupid is because remember in the beginning of Super Mario Sunshine, they somehow confuse me, uh, Shadow Mario, who does look like me. Who does look like Mario, but at the same time, though, it's like he's kind of like a blue, liquid like guy. And it's like, yeah, he looks like me, but at the same time, though, it's like it's not me. But somehow, but somehow they confuse Shadow Mario for Mario. Like they're so, like they're so easily tricked. And then, and then there's the fact that they, um. And then there's the fact that they, that most of the citizens of Super Ma of Mario Sunshine, most most of them have the um, science sprites. I can't see. And they whoops, and they refuse to give Mario the science sprites unless Mario do them a favor. And it's just like that's just so selfish. Of them to do that, but anyways. <laughs> the water's great, hey Junior. Sure is, Papa. Come on in, Mama Peach. Uh, I think not. Mario, you again? Don't you ever give up? Mario, how dare you disturb my family vacation? <laughs> All right, it's time. It's final boss time against Bowser and Bowser Jr. So this boss fight is pretty simple. All you gotta do is, first of all, is, is take care of those bullet bills, and then use the rocket nozzle to, to rock yourself up and ground pound the um the uh whoops oh, dang it the uh the flame symbols. Um, usually what I do is I try to I try to like um. Bait Bowser to attack one side. Oh yeah, you, you can you can blow up. Um, you can destroy those blue um, bullet bills, and you get a one up, or or you get some water, or you get some um, a, a big jar of water. But yeah, what I usually do is I try to bait Bowser into attacking one side of the um of the um tub, and then and then I run to the other side. So that way that way I, I can get past Bowser without. Worry about Bowser's flames. Ooh, okay, I got hit again. And make sure, make sure to keep an eye on Bowser Jr. too, because he does show out on um, bullet bills to, to chase after you. But you, but you, but you can just either you, you can either um, spray him down with with, the, with some water, or you can just jump on them. Okay, there's only one more. This is only one more attack we gotta do. Okay, 
big Bowser into attacking the, the wrong way. Watch out for the bullet bills. And guys, we beat Super Mario Sunshine. An easy boss fight. Junior, I've got something difficult to tell you about Princess Peach. I know, she's not really my mama. Someday, when I'm bigger... I wanna fight that Mario again. That's my boy. Well put, son. The Royal Cooper Line is as strong as ever. Now, let's just rest a while. The vacation starts now. Uh, a fallen hero, Mr. Awata. <coughs> oh, yeah. That, that, my friends, was Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> I, had, I had a good time playing this game. Um, I know Super Mario Sunshine is a, is a lot of people's cup of tea because, because, um, because Super Mario Sunshine has a lot of flaws, and I can understand why people don't like the game very much that that well. I think a lot of people consider Super Mario Sunshine as one of the weakest of uh, 3D Mario games, and I can agree that it is. But personally, I enjoy playing this game. I played this game since 2000 since 2002. I was like 12 years old when this game came out. Like I was like I was just a little like I was just a little baby when this game came out, and um. So yeah, I, so yeah, I've got a lot of childhood memories and and um and a lot of experience playing this game. Um, but so yeah, so yeah, um, I really do enjoy playing this game. But I can understand why. But like I said, I, I can understand why people don't don't really like this game very much because it because the, the controls can be the controls can be kind of like sensitive and um. And and I and I can understand that some things about the game can be real can be really frustrating. And also, this is what you get for getting one hundred percent the game. Have a relaxing vacation. You have collected all the science spices you want to save. Yes, I do. 120, 120 science sprites. All right, 
let's hop on back in. But uh, yeah, I can understand why people don't re don't relate um, Super Mario Sunshine that well because yeah, the game does have because the game does have its um flaws. Like the controls can be very like the controls can be very finicky. Um, Mario is very slippery. It's like it's like it's like sometimes because like sometimes when you go to stop. Mario was sometimes like like that. Mario would like take sometimes Mario would take a few extra steps, and you'll end up falling to his death, and you'll end up losing a life for that. Um, some of the things that you gotta do to get shine sprays are, are really annoying, like 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 the uh, like, like like the pachinko stage. Like, like nobody like I I can understand that one is annoying. Uh, the lily the. Lily pad ride where where you gotta take Yoshi, like you have to take Yoshi all the way out to the island out there, just to um wash away that orange stuff that that you can't that you yourself can't wash away, and then once you get in there, if you happen to fail to collect the red coins, there's there's a green pipe at the end of the course, and then you would think, okay, if I jump into this green pipe, it will take me back to the beginning, and no, it takes you out, it takes you out of the uh, special stage, which means you have to take Yoshi all the, all the way back out to the island to do the special stage again, and get back into the special stage, stage again. And it's just like, why did Nintendo thought it was a good idea to do these kind of things? And it's like, I can just understand why Super Mario Sunshine can be frustrating for some people because how they did things is just, it just felt, it just felt frustrating. It just, it just felt frustrating to do. I mean, in the most, I mean, most, in the most case, if you was to just play the game as is, like, I don't know, like, play every world to, like, episodes, like, you don't have to get every science part to beat the game, really. Um, oh, yeah, the blue coins, the blue coins are also annoying to get, because some of the blue coins are hidden in areas where it's, like, um, you have to, like, almost spray everywhere just to find a blue coin, and that can be annoying. Um, certain blue coins are, are in certain episodes, so, like, how in one episode in Riku Harbor, I was trying to get one blue coin in Riku Harbor, but I couldn't get the blue coin because it wasn't in that episode, so I had to go to episode two just to get that blue coin, and it's like, yeah, I would rather if they just put every single blue coin that was, that was available and just let me collect them. But, uh... Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Also, um, if you complete Super Mario Sunshine and you don't, and you don't go, and if you don't get um, all 120 um, Sun Sprites, you get a slightly different ending. Um, the end, I mean, the ending still plays out the same way, but you get a different uh, photo at the end. I'll, I'll show that. I'll show that off at the end at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, that's. Pretty much all there is to do. There's there is one more thing I want to show off, and that is once you um I think this only happens once you once you collect all 120 sign sprites and beat the game. If you talk to this guy, hey, sunshades alone just won't cut just won't cut it for you. Nope. You also need one of my custom tropical shirts. Here you go. My oh my. I haven't seen anyone look that good in my in my gear in ages. Come see me again when you want to when you want to return them, okay? All right, and yeah, and by 100% Mar Super Mario Sunshine, not only do you get sunglasses, but you also get this um tropical shirt, which which is um which is which I think these clothes make a make a return appearance in Super Mario Odyssey. But uh, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much your reward for 100% Super Mario Sunshine. It's not much of a reward, but Hey, but hey, if you like, but hey, if you like seeing Mario looking fancy, then hey, then hey, it's worth it. <laughs> but yeah, I think, but yeah, I think that's all. But I think that's pretty much it. Um, that's my let. That's my let's play Super Mario Sunshine. And like I said, I, I know people don't leave. I know people don't really like Super Mario Sunshine, and I know it's not everyone's, everybody's cup of tea. But me personally. I grew I grew up playing this game along along with along with Super Mario 64. I grew I grew up playing Super Mario Sunshine and I really and I really love playing this game. Just, just, despite despite its flaws. 
But um, yeah, I think I rambled. I think I rambled on long enough. And I think it's time. I think it's time to uh, call this a uh, call this an episode. So okay, guys. Um, I'll see you guys in my next big adventure. So until then, guys, stay safe and stay fresh. Guys, stay safe and stay fresh.